JDBC Interview Questions and Answers. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. JDBC API used to connect Java application with database. JDBC API is the industry standard for database independent connectivity between the Java programming language and a wide range of databases SQL databases and other tabular data sources, such as spreadsheets or flat files. What is JDBC? Java Database Connectivity, JDBC, is a standard Java API to interact with relational databases from Java. JDBC has set of classes and interfaces which can use from Java application and talk to database without learning RDBMS details and using database-specific JDBC drivers. The JDBC library includes APIs for each of the tasks mentioned below that are commonly associated with database usage. Connection to a database Creating SQL or MySQL database statements Executing SQL or MySQL queries or a built-in SQL editor in the database. Viewing and modifying the resulting records. What are the types of statements in JDBC? JDBC API has three interfaces and their key features are as follows. Statement, it is used to run simple SQL statements like select and update. Statement interface is used for general purpose access to your database. It is useful when you are using static SQL statements at runtime. The statement interface cannot accept parameters. Prepared statement, a SQL statement is pre-compiled and stored in a prepared statement object. It is used to run pre-compiled SQL. This object can then be used to efficiently execute this statement multiple times. The object of prepared statement class can be created using connection.prepareStatement method. This extends statement interface. Callable statement. This interface is used to execute the stored procedures. This extends prepared statement interface. The object of callable statement class can be created using connection.prepareCall method. What is JDBC driver? The JDBC driver provides vendor specific implementations of the abstract classes provided by the JDBC API. This driver is used to connect to the database. What are different types of JDBC drivers? There are four types of JDBC drivers. JDBC ODBC Bridge plus ODBC driver. It uses ODBC driver to connect to database. We should have ODBC drivers installed to connect to database, that's why this driver is almost obsolete. Native API Partly Java Technology Enabled Driver. This driver converts JDBC class to the client API for the database servers. We should have database client API installed. Because of extra dependency on database client API drivers, this is also not preferred driver. Pure Java driver for database middleware. This driver sends the JDBC calls to a middleware server that can connect to different type of databases. We should have a middleware server installed to work with this driver. This adds to extra network calls and slow performance and that's why not widely used JDBC driver. Direct to Database Pure Java Driver This driver converts the JDBC calls to the network protocol understood by the database server. This solution is simple and suitable for database connectivity over the network. However, for this solution, we should use database-specific drivers. For example, logged jars by Oracle for Oracle DB and MySQL connector, J for MySQL databases. What are the steps to connect to the database in Java? There are five steps to connect any Java application with the database in Java using JDBC. They are as follows. Register the driver class. Creating connection. Creating statement. Executing queries. Closing connection. What are the JDBC API components? The java.sql package contains interfaces and classes for JDBC API. Interfaces. Connection. Statement. Prepared statement. Result set. Result set metadata. Database metadata. Callable statement, etc. Classes. Driver manager. Blob. Clob. Types. Squexception, etc.
What is the difference between statement and prepared statement interface? In case of statement, query is complied each time whereas in case of prepared statement, query is complied only once. So performance of prepared statement is better than statement. What are the benefits of prepared statement over statement? Some of the benefits of prepared statement over statement are Prepared statement helps us in preventing SQL injection attacks because it automatically escapes the special characters. Prepared statement allows us to execute dynamic queries with parameter inputs. Prepared statement is faster than statement. It becomes more visible when we reuse the prepared statement or use its batch processing methods for executing multiple queries. Prepared statement helps us in writing object-oriented code with setter methods whereas with statement we have to use string concatenation to create the query. If there are multiple parameters to set, writing query using string concatenation looks very ugly and error-prone. What is the limitation of prepared statement and how to overcome it? One of the limitation of prepared statement is that we can't use it directly within clause statements. Some of the alternative approaches to use prepared statement within clause are Execute single queries, very slow performance and not recommended. Using stored procedure, database specific and hence not suitable for multiple database applications. Creating prepared statement query dynamically, good approach but loses the benefit of cached prepared statement. Using null and prepared statement query, a good approach when you know the maximum number of variables inputs, can be extended to allow unlimited parameters by executing in parts. What are different types of result set? There are different types of result set objects that we can get based on the user input while creating the statement. If you will look into the connection methods, you will see that create statement and prepare statement method are overloaded to provide result set type and concurrency as input argument. There are three types of result set object. Result set dot type underscore forward underscore only, this is the default type and cursor can only move forward in the result set. Result set dot type underscore scroll underscore insensitive, the cursor can move forward and backward and the result set is not sensitive to changes made by others to the database after the result set was created. Result set dot type underscore scroll underscore sensitive, the cursor can move forward and backward, and the result set is sensitive to changes made by others to the database after the result set was created. Based on the concurrency there are two types of result set object. Result set dot concur underscore read underscore only, the result set is read only, this is the default concurrency type. Result set dot concur underscore updatable. We can use result set update method to update the rows data. How to roll back a JDBC transaction. We can use connection object rollback method to roll back the transaction. It will roll back all the changes made by the transaction and release any database locks currently held by this connection object. What is JDBC save point? how to use it. Sometimes a transaction can be group of multiple statements and we would like to roll back to a particular point in the transaction. JDBC save point helps us in creating checkpoints in a transaction and we can roll back to that particular checkpoint. Any save point created for a transaction is automatically released and become invalid when the transaction is committed, or when the entire transaction is rolled back. Rolling a transaction back to a save point automatically releases and makes invalid any other save points that were created after the save point in question. What is JDBC Data Source and what are its benefits? JDBC Data Source is the interface defined in Javax.sql package and it is more powerful than driver manager for database connections. We can use data source to create the database connection and driver implementation classes does the actual work for getting connection. Apart from getting database connection, data source provides some additional features such as Caching of prepared statement for faster processing Connection timeout settings Logging features Result set maximum size threshold Connection pooling in servlet container using JNDI support. What is ROSET? A ROSET is an object that encapsulates a set of rows from either Java Database Connectivity, JDBC, 
results sets or tabular data sources like a file or spreadsheet. ROSET support component-based development models like Java Beans, with a standard set of properties and an event notification mechanism. What are the different types of ROSET? There are two types of ROSET are there. Connected, a connected ROSET object connects to the database once and remains connected until the application terminates. Disconnected, a disconnected ROSET object connects to the database, executes a query to retrieve the data from the database and then closes the connection. A program may change the data in a disconnected ROSET while it is disconnected. Modified data can be updated in the database after a disconnected row set re-establishes the connection with the database. What is the difference between result set and row set? Row set objects are derived from result set, so they have all the features of result set with some additional features. One of the huge benefit of row set is that they can be disconnected and that makes it lightweight and easy to transfer over a network. Whether to use result set or row set depends on your requirements but if you are planning to use result set for longer duration, then a disconnected row set is better choice to free database resources. What are common JDBC exceptions? Some of the common JDBC exceptions are Java.sql.sql exception, this is the base exception class for JDBC exceptions. Java.sql.batch update exception. This exception is thrown when batch operation fails, but it depends on the JDBC driver whether they throw this exception or the base SQL exception. Java.sql.scorning, for warning messages in SQL operations. Java.sql.data truncation, when a data values is unexpectedly truncated for reasons other than its having exceeded max field size. What is Clob and Blob data types in JDBC? Character large objects, clubs, are character string made up of single byte characters with an associated code page. This data type is appropriate for storing text-oriented information where the amount of information can grow beyond the limits of a regular VARC or data type, upper limit of 32k bytes. Binary large objects, blobs, are binary string made up of bytes with no associated code page. This data type can store binary data larger than varbinary. 32K limit. This data type is good for storing image, voice, graphical, and other types of business or application specific data. What are the different types of locking in JDBC? Optimistic locking, locking the record only when update is taking place. Pessimistic locking, locking the record from the select to read, update and commit phase. What are the standard isolation levels defined by JDBC? The values are defined in the class java.sql.connection and are Transaction underscore none Transaction underscore read underscore committed Transaction underscore read underscore uncommitted Transaction underscore repeatable underscore read Transaction underscore serializable What are the package new features changes in JDBC? The java.sql and javax.sql are the primary packages for JDBC 4.0. Automatic Database Driver Loading Exception Handling Improvements Enhanced Blob Slash Clob Functionality Connection and Statement Interface Enhancements National Character Set Support SQL ROID Access SQL 2003 XML Data Type Support Annotation. What are the new features of JDBC 4.3? Added sharding support. Enhanced database metadata to determine if sharding is supported. Enhanced connection to be able to provide hints to the driver that a request, an independent unit of work, is beginning or ending. Added support to statement for encoding literals and simple identifiers. Clarified the Java SE version that methods were deprecated. Added the method drivers to driver manager to return a stream of the currently loaded and available JDBC drivers. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.
Click the bell button for latest updates.